There are four basic steps in throwing a pot on the potter's wheel. Each of them shows something about us and God. Step one, balance the clay. The technique is called centering. The whole purpose of this step is to bring the clay to the point of workability. If the piece loses its balance, often the potter must begin again. The potter's hands are both placed on the clay. His left arm is firmly wedged against his body and his left hand is against the closest part of the spinning clay. His right hand is on the far side of the clay. The clay flows between his hands. Now the grip becomes firmer and the right hand moves toward the left. As the clay responds, his hands move up or down as needed. The clay fights back. Suddenly, the struggle is over and the ball of clay is balanced. God, as the potter, is seeking balance in your life. He wants to center you. You will be at rest. When does God stop the centering process? When the struggle ceases. When you rest in the potter's hand. Step 2. The clay is opened. In order to open the clay, the potter must find the center of the clay. He does this by first taking just a few dribbles of water and letting it flow over the clay. Then he places both hands on the sides of the clay with his thumbs gently riding on the upper surface, and then as the clay is spun, his thumbs, again very gently, ride the surface of the clay to the center of the spin. As he reaches the center, his thumbs stiffen and carefully push downward. A small indentation is now at the very center of the clay. Leaving one hand to remain along the side of the clay, the potter takes his other hand and places his forefingers in the indentation and pushes down. The goal is not to dig the clay out, but to move the clay. The clay, if it has been centered correctly, opens creating thick walls between his thumb and the remaining fingers. The lump of clay is now a vessel. The change has begun. The potter then rechecks it for balance. Now he is ready to move to create a strong base. He takes one of his sponges and cleans out the interior of the spinning clay. To be open before the Lord means that you are now willing to be controlled. You are open as his vessel. Step 3. The clay is lifted up. Once the clay is opened, the potter quickly moves to lift the clay into a tall cylinder. This is the beginning of the fragile stages of the pot's formation. The clay is fragile because during the lifting of the clay, the walls are thinned. As the potter pushes upward, the clay begins to rise. Both hands cause and follow this movement. Like a wave moving toward the shore, the clay moves upward, growing, always rising. The aim of the potter is not to force the clay, but to grow the moving clay towards a single point. When the inside of the cylinder is growing correctly, the outside takes care of itself. Remember Peter's words, So be humble under God's powerful hand, then he will lift you up when the right time comes. 1 Peter 5, 6 God, by his mercy over your life, has caused your heart to be open to his plan. Now release yourself to be lifted up. He will focus on the inside of you, and then he will present you ready to be shaped for your final calling. Step 4. Shaping the clay The tall cylinder spins before the potter. It is ready to be shaped. The shaping of the clay is where the art of the artist is truly seen. It is the time when the potter slows the wheel down and spends very specific detailed time with the clay. In fact, the clay stands very fragile in the potter's hands. The slightest wrong movement from the potter will result in a full collapse of the pot. His eyes never leave the clay. Slowly, very slowly, the clay takes the shape the potter has in mind. Each stroke in shaping is small. Sometimes, when the potter looks into the pot, the water in the base reflects his face. The potter sees himself as the clay is shaped. Now, instead of a cylinder, there is a foot, a base, a body, a neck, a mouth, a lip. Each part is important to the final plan. Each part is shaped exactly according to the vessel's purpose. When he has finished, the wheel becomes a quiet platform where the potter looks at his art. He smiles. You are at some stage with God as potter of your life. Remember Paul's word, we all show the Lord's glory and we are being changed to be like him. 2 Corinthians 3, 18.